All right, I am back from my tasty bagel and cream cheese lunch. Let's deal with these orcs. The orcs archer, the orc archer's arrow misses you. That'd be this guy, whoops, this guy here. <laughs> this would be a standard orc, I'm pretty sure. Let's press L to make sure we know what we're doing here. L. You see an orc sentry? Yeah, we know what that is. It's got a glowing short sword. That's definitely magic of some sort. Unidentified leather armor. Unidentified small shield. We could use one of those. We don't have any shield as of yet. Let's look at this other guy. Arrows, short bow, long sword, glowing leather armor. Again, might be quite useful. Let's kill the uh, guy right next to us right off the bat. To the best of our ability. Let's get out of look mode. I hit it. It hits me. I get poisoned. Huh. I don't suppose that's very good. I don't know what I know about poison. I think that's probably what the orc did to me. The orc parries my attack. I block his attack. The archer's, orc archer's arrow misses me. I hit him. Dudes. Okay, that guy's dead. We'll grab this stuff up in a minute. We need to deal with this guy first. Right, we need to eat some stuff right now. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Let's go into our inventory. Use you. So use one right off the bat. Alright, it's dead. I don't know if I'm still poisoned. I don't know how to tell that. Let's gather up some stuff. Yeah, I'm poisoned. Can I get rid of it? Let's get the glowing leather armor. I'm still dropping, man. Let's try something else. Let's, uh... Let's use this darned use V. I wonder if we can tell anything, like if we look at, say, look at uh, ourselves. If you're wounded, poisoned as active effects, but I don't know much about poisoned. I don't know how long it'll last, if it's a set amount of time. Oh, I thought I was moving there, darn it. I was like, hey, it must have worn off. We want to try and get back to that fountain. I'm hoping that that will, uh... Fuck, this could be the end of us. Use. Fee, we're using all our provisions. In any event, that's not a good thing. Oh my god, what does it take to get rid of this poison? You feel less poisoned, I saw that. You're still poisoned, though. You feel less poisoned. Are we still poisoned at all? Almost dead. We're not poisoned anymore. Okay. It's unfortunate that we had to use all those uh, all those provisions. And equally unfortunate that we need to use this fountain right now. But if we don't, we're going to die. Use. West. You drink from the fountain, we feel healthier. Okay. I'm going to cross out the fountain on level 1 from my paper, pen and paper list here. That was an unfortunate and terrible battle. I don't know if we're going to be able to recover from that. That might cost us the game right there because... Uh, Man, did we ever take some damage, but let's find out. All right, what do we got here? Did we, we picked up that... Uh, what are we using? What is our current equipment? We have leather armor, defense two. Well, let's use the new one. Uh, let's... Inventory. Let's use M, which is leather armor of ice shield. So it's still only defense two, but if we happen to meet a monster using ice attacks, it'll help us. We probably won't uh, still be wearing it by the time that happens, though. Now, let's, uh, let's get out of this. Pick up some unidentified arrows. More of those. A short bow. Plus one longsword. Not as good as our plus two longsword. Small shield, that helps. Not great, but it helps. Let's use the small shield. Small shield gives us a chance to block enemy attacks. Sometimes. Okay, we gotta drop a bunch of stuff. Let's drop the club. Let's drop the short sword. Oops. Drop the short sword. Drop the hand axe. Drop the long sword. You can see we're able to drop a lot of stuff right here. Um, because unlike some games, 
it doesn't necessarily have to drop in your square. It can drop into adjacent squares as well. Let's drop leather armor. Let's drop the leather armor. Let's drop the leather armor. Let's drop the leather armor. All right, let's keep the rest for now because why not? A plus one short sword of venom. So if we were to use this, it would be well plus one. It would be, it'd be attack three instead of attack five, like our plus two long sword. But it would uh, potentially poison monsters, which could be like the the problem that we faced. I don't know if that's good or not. The hell is that a dog? It does not care about you. Well, I don't care about it. Let's try firing at it with our bow. Let's get out of look mode. <laughs> Fire. Fire. Arrow hits. I miss. It bangs at the door. It dodges my attack. It bangs at a door. Might have got through it. All right, it's dead. Let's get back our standard arrows. All right. And keep looking around. Uh-oh. What's that? An orc warrior. That's not going to be something we want to face, but let's, uh, let's try switching to our... Doesn't seem to take any time to switch to our stuff. Let's switch over to... Whoops. Get out of this. Inventory. Let's use our plus one crossbow and use our plus one bolts. So our attack will be better now for the firing at it. Let's fire at it. We hit it. Its armor deflected it. We hit it. Now we're into melee. We hit it. It hits us. Darn it. All right, it's dead. Thank God. Plus one hand axe. Not as good as stuff we got. Carry it for now, because why not? A bunch of dead bodies here. That doesn't fill one with cheer, does it? I'm using my special crossbow. Make sure we don't take any more damage before we uh, head down further. There, right, we gained a level. Our stamina is now 18 instead of 17. Our luck seems to have stayed the same. I don't think our skill went up. You won't climb that high in the course of a game. Um, my winning game, I think I was level 5. We are currently level 2, so you're not going to get that high. Another three levels up is about another three level ups is about the most we can look forward to. That is a sleeping orc sentry. Let's fire at it. One. Good. Again, we're picking up stuff we don't need. We're gonna have to drop it again in a minute. Let's just kill it. Easy enough. Got another key. Key labeled forty one. That's all right. Let's find a chest labeled forty one now. Again, there's no hunger clock here, so we can take our time walking around. There's no reason not to explore everything. I think all the traps... The traps. All the traps are also self-evident, like that teleport thing we saw earlier. Um, you can see any such traps right off the bat. I should go back and step on that teleport thing just to see what it does. Matter of fact, let's do that now. It was this playthrough right now. Yeah, it was right over there. Again, I did a few test runs really quickly just to get the... Studio setup, right? Let's just step on it and see what happens. Yeah. Interesting. Is it random? You're also confused when you hit the other end, just like in Rogue. <laughs> That's just okay. My head clears. Okay. Let's try it again. See if it's in the same place or if it's random. Similar place. My head clears. I'm going to try one last time. No. You're confused. Your head clears. Okay. I just wanted to see, guys. Aren't you, aren't you curious? Don't you want to find out how the game works? I know I do. Totally safe there because we cleared the level, and as I said, monsters do not regenerate. You clear a level, it is empty for the duration of the game. Got it. Plus one bolt will definitely take back. You know what? Let's switch back to our, uh, our crappier weapon. Let's equip. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I use. We want to use the longbow, right? 
and use the standard arrows. Just for now, because we're probably fairly safe. That seems to be all for level uh, two. There's no secret doors that I can re that I can recall. Let's head down to level three. There's some sort of orcish crossbow dude or something right there, archer. Again, let's uh, close the gap. A door squeaks. That's interesting. All right, it's dead. Just a standard short bow. The arrows are useful. Let's drop our drop stuff we don't need. Let's drop a uh, B, drop A, drop B, drop B. Let's just keep stuff that might be useful. C, drop C, drop E, so we don't get confused accidentally later and use like the wrong bow. Keep that sort of venom because you never know. Maybe maybe we'll realize it's awesome. If we can hit a monster that we're you know afraid to approach or afraid to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, maybe we can uh, cause some damage and then flee. Fuck. What's he doing? Let's see if we can't... Uh, whoops, let's get out of here. Get out of the look. Let's close this door. See if he comes and opens it. He did. There, we didn't have to worry about him shooting us. bolts glowing leather armor it's slightly better than ours isn't it ours is defense 2 of ice shield this is quality leather armor it's defense 3 might as well use that equip oh fuck you not, not, not equip you for your equip you for use D alright our defense is a little bit higher let's drop the old leather armor of ice shield again I'm 99% what am I seeing up here? What the heck? I didn't mean to drop that. Glad I got that back. <laughs> I'm 99% sure uh, your items can't be destroyed or anything that I, that I can think of. Ooh, there's better armor just laying, laying about. A large shield. Okay, let's, let's use that. Use E, X. Whoops. Okay, well, he can't seem to hit us because of that wall. Dead. You're dead, sir. Plus one bolts. I assume they'll stack with my other plus one bolts. Yep. That's nice. It stacks them. Oh, shit. Even walking one square at a time, I was moving too fast. Let's close this door. Nothing there to close. <laughs> Alright, let's fire at this guy. I didn't actually see who he is. An orcish butcher. Oh, fuck me. Alright, this is a bad position to be in. Reason being, the orcish butcher is actually quite a serious enemy. And the other archer can also shoot at us. Um, and there's nowhere for me to flee. I can't get back down the hall if I move to the right. I'm just going to be stuck with it. So um, I think we're going to have to just uh, let's do one thing first. Let's go uh, inventory. Use our heavy crossbow or our crossbow plus one. Oh, I guess we had two of those. And let's use our plus one bolts to at least get one more shot in at the uh, butcher with a best chance of hitting. That didn't do anything. It's an elite archer as well. Well, I hit the archer. Oh, the arrow. Good. He fired at me and the arrow hits the orcish butcher. That's good. Maybe he'll kill it. You parry the orcish butcher's attack. Okay. His armor deflected mine. The arrow hit him. Maybe. Maybe this is a great position to be in. He's dead. The elite orc archer's arrow clipped your armor. Okay. Let's go kill that elite orc archer.
taking some serious hits, isn't he? Let's get the key. Key labeled 37, okay. Get some arrows. Get some arrows. We don't need the rest of this. We know for... F oh, fuck. We know for a fact that it's just uh, mediocre stuff. Or else it would be blue, right? Alright, we killed him with our combo of crossbow and sword. Um, I forget what I was going to point out. It would have been mind-blowing, man. Neat to know that the uh, the enemies can shoot each other by accident. I'm not sure if it's 100%, as in because the arrow had to pass over the butcher to hit me, it was always going to hit him. Or if it was like a chance it could have passed over him and hit me. I, I'd like to know the answer to that. I hope it's the latter. Or else that guy really shouldn't have been uh, shooting at us. Let's switch back the next time I meet a, a low-level monster. Switch back to my crappy... There's another teleport trap, right? Oh, shit. Ouch. Yeah, it's a teleport trap. Might be the only kind of trap there is. I don't, I don't remember. We'll find out, I guess, as we play together. This is dungeon level two. An orc butcher is sort of a hero. He's one of the. He's one of a kind, I think. I think. Here's another way onward. Another red staircase. Let's just kill him manually. Orc servant, very weak monster. Empty chest? Yeah. I think when it's gray, it's it's empty. It'd be brown or something when it's not. Now, let me point out one more thing in one second. Let's finish exploring first. To confirm that I'm right... No, I'm wrong. Okay. Now, because those staircases are yellow, that staircase is yellow, it's letting you know if you use this staircase, you'll have a chance to rest again. We're not ready to rest. So I guess it's after dungeon level... Oh, we're dungeon level 3. Character level 2. Okay, yeah. If we use that staircase... Go down to dungeon level 4, and we'll have a chance to rest in between. We don't want to rest yet, because we don't need to. We're, we're relatively healthy, so it makes more sense to backtrack back to the, the Orcish Barracks. Where's my staircase? I see it. Oh, interesting. It did stop me. What's going on here? I'm not sure why it stopped me. I did the dot and the direction. Does it stop you at Not sure. When you come near to items, it seems to stop you. All right, let's go back to dungeon level two. From dungeon level two, let's go back to dungeon level one, and let's go to the Orcish barracks. I do like these uh, this map generation. It's very tight, very small, but it looks more plausible than say Moria's weird twisting corridors or rogues go nowhere corridors. It's a nice design, well done. And you saw the Overland map generator, but there's also this. The uh, the barracks uses a different type of map generator. It uses a slightly different with its sort of main corridor. Sometimes the corridor bends. I think sometimes it doesn't. And there are just rooms adjoining it. It's kind of an... It's, an, it's nice that it has these different optional ways to uh, gen generate the maps. It's, it adds something to the uh, the feel of the game. It definitely has an ambience that a lot of games don't. It's helped along as well by the, uh, the descriptors. Like when we came in the dungeon or when we went down to... Uh, well, I guess when we came to the dungeon or when we started the game, there's a nice, uh, nice little text block to let you know what's going on. It gives a definite feel to the place, you know? Basic orc. Let's, uh, let's switch over to our other thing. Our, uh, let's go to our longbow. G. Oops, use G. Use standard arrows. Escape. Fire. Maybe I should have used something else. <laughs> he only hit him once. His shield partially blocked us. Oh, he hit us, damn it. I definitely should have used a better bow. We do not want to get hit. We've used too many uh, rations already. We don't want to... What's, what's with this guy? Is he that fucking tough? He's got a glowing club. Unidentified plate mail. That would explain it. And an unidentified medium shield. Oh my god. He's gonna whoops. He's gonna take some doing, I guess. Alright, he's dead. Let's pick up that plate mail. Full plate mail, defense five. Let's put that on. Yes, we're losing our ice shield, but whatevs. Let's use D. 
We'll keep the ice shield in case we meet monsters of that nature later. Let's drop E. Get rid of the small shield. Everything else we want to keep for now. Let's get it. And we don't need that. Let's drop the medium shield. So we don't get confused. We got our large shield. Picked up an arrow. Let's fire at this guy. Or Hunter. Oh, he's firing back. Oh, we're in a firefight, guys. This is probably dumb. All right, he's dead. Get these arrows. Get those arrows. All right. It's only taking two damage so far in the barracks. The barracks can be very, very deadly, so let's be uh, on our guard, shall we? These doors are opened. Did I open them? No, I guess I didn't. All right, he's dead. Got it. Yeah, nice, nice design here. Again, central corridor with these weird branching tunnels and uh, and rooms. It's a. Uh, it's, uh, I'm actually not quite sure how this map generator works. I'd like to. Uh, Unless he has a, pr a set number of pre-selected central corridors, I don't know. I'd, I'd be curious to talk to Krim and be like, how did you, uh... What's your code for generating this? I can't... Currently, Caverns of Zeskizian 2 does not... Oh, fuck me. Two of them. Currently, it does not have the ability to generate a map of this nature. How am I gonna... I'm not gonna fire back at them. It's gonna take too much, uh... Let's charge in. Fuck, this could be a mistake. So far, we haven't taken any damage. We're not doing much to them either, though. I don't know if they have a finite supply of arrows. They must. You miss. Arrow misses me. I block that guy's attack. Don't forget, we also have the option to flee. We're not going to do it, obviously, right now. But if we wanted to, we could. By pressing capital F, we'd lose a luck point, and I think it would actually run us back down the hall. We'd get away from this uh, a fair ways. It's kind of a neat thing. Luck also affects um, the quality of items that you find in chests and stuff. So uh, a higher luck would yield better... Uh, Better equipment and stuff. Oh, yeah, I guess I ran out of arrows. If that's the case, let's go... Um, I guess one of them still has arrows. Let's see if this other guy shoots him. <laughs> no, he, his archer... No, I, I don't know. I guess not. Okay, we got hit there. I hit him. I block his attack. Thud. All right, I'm killing this guy. I guess the thud is the shield blocking it. partially blocks. So it took some damage. I guess thud means the shield absorbed the full amount of the damage. And if it's partially blocked, it absorbs some of it, but some of it got by. These guys are fucking deadly. My god, did that take some doing. At least that other guy is. Okay, there we go. We gained a level. Okay. Stamina 19. Our luck stayed the same. I didn't notice our skill jumped, did it? I think... I think it did. I think our skill went up as well. Yeah, you feel more skillful right there. Oh, that's pretty cool. So your skill can climb too. The elite orc hunter dies. I don't know. Let's get these. Four arrows. Plus one club. We don't need that. Drop. Ah, let's not drop it yet. Don't need that. Arrows we'll take. Don't need that. Meh. Another shitty club. Let's fire on this guy and then we'll... uh. We'll worry about dropping stuff. 
All right. It's just standard plate mail defense four. Not great. Let's drop. C, drop C, drop D. Don't need two of these, drop H. Keep the long bow because we might switch to arrows, you know? Are we using arrows right now? What are we using? No, we already have one equipped. Is that the one we have equipped? Interesting, in the inventory, the equipment shows up as well. It just says equipped usually. Usually, doesn't it? Drop H. Do we still have a longbow equipped? Yeah. All right. Maybe not. Oh, uh, drop. <laughs> the reason it's blue, I see what's going on. The reason it's blue is because... Oops, I didn't want to do that. All right. The reason it's blue is because it's better than the longbow I have equipped. That's what it's saying. Matter of fact, we are, our stamina is a bit low. Let's switch over to the plus, to the crossbow. G. Use G. Use. I'll even use the better arrows. F 15 plus 2 qu crossbow quarrels. Because I know there's a guard captain down here that we do not want to face. In shitty, uh, in dire straits. We don't want to face him with our stamina too low. That was our first chest. And there's an, probably the orc captain. Let's find out. Orc captain. It does not care about you. It looks healthy. Larger than most orcs. It's a leader of some type. And it looks healthy. It has not seen you. Experience level is high. It has a long sword and leather armor. Let's hit it with our awesome crossbow. After we get out of look mode. Oh, I got I to gotta equip a... It says I don't have the proper equipment ready. That's because it, uh, we need to use bolts, not arrows. So plus one crossbow bolts with a plus one crossbow. He deflects my attack. I miss. I hit. Well, I got him once. Shoot. He's taking some hits, man. I don't like how long this battle's going on. Makes me nervous. All right, he's dead. More smelly cheese for what that's worth. Let's get back our plus one bolts. Unidentified leather armor we don't need. Now, let's look at this. Chest number 59. What do, do we have 59, don't we? I. Key labeled 59. So we can open this. Use. And inside we found an unidentified battle axe. Plus one battle axe. So it's attack five plus one is six. Versus our plus two longsword, which is attack five. Let's use the, uh, let's use that. Use. Plus one battle axe. Nice. All right, that was worth it. Got a nice new weapon. Another key. And an orc sentry. Just switch back to my other thing. Key labeled 61. Let's grab that. Let's uh, use our longbow. Use our standard arrows. Again, just saving the better stuff for tougher monsters. If we're just going to meet orcs and orc sentries, arrows will do. If we're meeting elite guys or orc captains or anything, or orc warriors even, we might consider changing. <laughs> There's two arrows in the wall beside him when he wakes up. Not sure why he's not coming for me. All right, I moved up a bit because I'm uh, wasting a lot of arrows there. Seven arrows. The chests are really at the heart of the the gameplay here. There's a unique feature: the the keys that are labeled such and and that fit the locks. And it's straight out of the Warlock of Firetop Mountain. You needed keys labeled with numbers to open the Warlock's chest. So it's, it's a nice little adaptation. Obviously, the barracks are a place you can visit in the Warlock Firetop Mountain. All the monster types are something out of Warlock Firetop Mountain, but it goes beyond that. It's uh, like these different regions and such, and the flavor text and all kinds of things. It really is a really solid... It lends a really solid feel to what the Warlock of Firetop Mountain, the game book, is. Let's head down to that other red staircase. I can't remember where it is. 
And I have a feeling that I'm, in the old days I would have said bypass it for now, but we, we don't want to get healed yet by going to rest because we have enough health to, uh, to avoid that. So let's not do it yet. Let's go in here. Where are we? We're in a cave. I'm not sure this is wise. You'll notice our skill is now 11 instead of 12. That's because the longsword provided plus 2 skill. The battle axe only provides plus 1. But it does more attacks, so it's still better value in the end. This doesn't feel like a cave, does it? It doesn't feel very cavernous. Ooh, spider. I don't think I should be here. Too late. I am going to use my other weapon. Equip. Use H. Use J. I'm afraid these spiders will poison us. And you saw what happened the last time we got poisoned. That was not a fun time. And this time we wouldn't have the rations probably to see us through. If you're poisoned again, we could be dead. Move slowly here so I don't accidentally walk into a room full of spiders or something. I do remember this game having cave-like structures, so I'm surprised, like, like using cellular autom automata to, uh, to create caves. You know what else I'm just realizing is uh, we are at the uh, half-hour mark. That is a dwarf. It is hostile. It looks healthy. This dwarf eyes you with suspicion. Do I have my gold? It looks healthy. It is hostile. Experience medium. It's got a short sword and leather armor. Uh, let's also look at the other thing we're looking at, and then we'll uh, we'll call it quits here, and then I'll uh, I'll fire it up again. <laughs> you see a crocodile. It does not care about you. It looks healthy. I think they're confined to water, are they? I don't know. Maybe not. A large predatory reptile with long jaws, sharp claws, and a hungry smile. It looks healthy. It has not seen you. That's good. Has the other guy seen us? If so, let's back away so that crocodile doesn't come after us. I don't know if we want to be here yet. Or at all. Let's get out of this. Let's give it... Yeah, okay. Just in case. That way the crocodile won't come chasing us while we deal with the dwarf. Alright, got some experience out of that. Alright, I'm going to call it quits here, guys. I'll be back in a few minutes to continue playing. <laughs>